And USA Today looks at new safety concerns about weight loss supplements. A study released overnight shows manufacturers could be misleading customers by including a man-made stimulant in products that promote their natural ingredients. Dr. Peter Cohen of Harvard Medical School led the research team. He joins us first on CBS This Morning. Dr. Cohen, good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us what you were looking for and what did you find? Well, we took a look at a new replacement for ephedra. The uh, name for this is Acacia Ridge Dula, but in fact, it doesn't have that plant in it at all. It has a new stimulant, a designer stimulant called the BMPEA. In the Acacia Ridge Dula products, we found that more than half contain this designer stimulant. And what does the damage come from that designer stimulant? Well, what's particularly concerning is we have no idea what happens in humans. What we know is that in dogs and cats, it can increase blood pressure, increase heart rate. These are things that are signals that in humans will later turn into heart attacks, strokes, mm -hmm. and maybe even sudden death. You know, I used to take supplements that had ephedra in it and had fenfen. I thought this is great, kill my appetite. And then I realized, oh, it could kill me too. So now we have a new weight loss stimulant that you're talking about we should be concerned about. My question is this, is there any weight loss supplement that you think is safe and okay to take? Gail, there's not a single weight loss supplement on the market that's legal and that's been shown to lead to weight loss in humans. So there's two options. One is that the supplement's not going to work and you're just wasting your money. Mm -hmm. And the other option is that it's actually working, leading to short-term weight loss, but exposing you to serious long-term risks. Because what, it's got amphetamine-like stimulants in it? Precisely. Mm -hmm. Amphetamine-like stimulants that have never even been tested in humans. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, uh, this study has already prompted some action. We know that the company Vitacos says it's suspending online sales of its product called Arrow Black Series Burn Supplement until it has more safety information. Were you surprised by this move? What more do you think you need, needs to be done? This move is more than two years too late. They've been selling this product while the FDA has already identified the new stimulant in it for two years. So this is way too little too late. We need all these markets off store shelves. More importantly, we need the FDA to be enforcing the law. Are you upset with the FDA? Oh, I mean, they've completely abdicated their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Their responsibility is to make sure that dangerous ingredients are not present in supplements. And they have completely dropped the ball when it comes to. And here's a statement the right FDA. here from the FDA. They say our review of the available information on products containing BMPEA does not identify a specific safety concern at this time. I when mean, I, you're saying something totally different yes. than the FDA. I was shocked when I saw this. Health Canada removed the market, removed supplements with this ingredient from the market. Mm -hmm. The European Union has been clear. Nothing with Acacia rigidula should be found in supplements or food. Mm -hmm. The FDA is telling us there's not even a safety concern. Mm -hmm. You seem really fired up about yeah, this. I know this is your, your study. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, because we really need to make some action. The FDA not only has to move against BMPA, but they need to move against this product to set an example of what are they going to do when other companies are introducing new stimulants. Because of course, other ones are just gonna pop up, trying to replace ephedra, trying to replace DMA. So check your labels. When check. You're, check your labels is what you're telling us to do. Or yeah. better yet, don't take it. Precisely. Yeah. All right, okay. Dr. Peter Cohen, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me.